Steve Bannon launched an absolute cannonball at the deep state. And trust me, you don't want to miss this. From calling out Jack Smith to promising justice for Trump and his supporters, Bannon is taking no prisoners. Love him or hate him, when Steve Bannon talks, people pay attention. And he's publicly giving us a little glimpse at what's to come. Is he trying to make the rogue radical lawfare prosecutors nervous? Well, if they aren't nervous at this point, trust me, they should be. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and smack that like button because it helps us with the algorithm to get our message out to more people. Also, we do live streams every Friday night at 6 o'clock Eastern. Hope to see you there. All right, let's talk about Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon has officially thrown down the gauntlet, and his target, the so-called deep state villains, who he says have been weaponizing federal power against Trump and his supporters. And guys, he's not holding him back. In fact, Bannon's words are more than just a warning. They're a declaration of war. Bannon is naming names. Comey, McCabe, Merrick Garland, of course, Jack Smith. He's not just calling them out. He's issuing a warning. Smith, according to Bannon, might want to consider retiring somewhere with no extradition treaty. <laughs> The implications are chilling. I mean, could this be like a real turning point? All right. In this first clip, Bannon was in New York where he appeared in court on November 12, exactly one week after the election. He was there for a pretrial hearing in his New York criminal case. Bannon was accused of defrauding donors who gave money to build a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. Of course, it's nonsense, but it's all part of the lawfare that's been going on by Democrats with power for a very long time. I mean, it really has been going on for a long time. People just didn't notice it too much because for the longest time, it wasn't like it has been the last four years under the Biden-Harris regime where lawfare was put on steroids, especially right after Trump announced that he was running in 2024. So here's Bannon coming out of a courthouse in New York as he goes to the waiting press and he warns all the lawfare prosecutors publicly that their day is coming. He says this as he's coming out of court for a lawfare case against him. It's classic Steve Bannon. Give it a watch. Step to the mic up here, Mr. Bannon, right here. Right here, Mr. Bannon. The microphone yeah. right here. Thank you, sir. 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 And like I have worked on for years and years and years, the whole country came together. Working class people all over came together and they rejected what's going on in this court, what's going on with President Trump. Yep. The lawfare of Tish James and Alvin Bragg and, and, and Jack Smith and Merrick Garland has been rejected by a landslide by the American people. So the one thing I have to say to yeah. Merrick Garland, Lisa Monaco, Jack Smith, Tish James, Alvin Bragg, you wait. The hunted are be about to become the hunters. Thank you very much. <laughs> you got to love that. He knows that these people, these evil prosecutors are watching this. He knows they're going to see it. He doesn't care because he's giving us a glimpse, guys, of what's to come. All right. In this next clip, Bannon claims that these deep state operatives that he's talking about here were all set to unleash total chaos. They were going to rain hell down on Trump if he lost the election. He says Smith had a 168-page indictment locked and loaded, ready to bury Trump under a mountain of legal drama and throw him in prison. Give it a watch. Thank you, guys. That's a clip one, but we play clip <laughs> no, so Pam Bondi, what she said in the run-up to the election is that you had to go after the prosecutors that came after him. You had to go, and this is McCabe, this is Comey, this is Weissman, all this them. is all the guys over at MSNBC, this is, the, uh, this is Jack Smith, this is Lisa Monaco, this is Merrick Garland. Yes, she said it, and in, in confirmation, they ought to ask about it. This is not a witch hunt. This is not revenge. This is not retribution. It has nothing to do with that. You must wring this out of the system. This can never be allowed to happen again. Right. They went after President Trump, and they wanted to imprison him for 20 years. If we had lost on Tuesday the 5th, the next day, Jack Smith, the wise guy, was going to drop a superseding indictment. That's that 168-page report of nothing but a tissue of lies. 
So, Jack Smith, you've already resigned. You're quitting. I know you're going to try to run back to The Hague, but, bro, you better run to a place that don't have an extradition treaty because <laughs> you are not just going to be investigated. Ultimately, you're going to be indicted and you're going to be tried. Okay? You guys, all you guys put so many people in bankruptcy. What is good for the goose is even better for the gander. Better for the and gander. you're going to find out. And uh, the putting the team over justice today... Not for retribution, to putting the, the team over justice to make sure we set things right. And this is never allowed to happen again. What happened to President Trump and the people around President Trump in the future? We're going to. You know, Bannon is a true believer in the movement to fix the disgusting way that our government has been taken over by power hungry, evil people who have no problem ruining innocent people's lives, ruining their families' lives. And anyone else in their orbit. Bannon's not taking revenge on people. He's talking about justice. So there you go. As Bannon put it, this isn't about retribution. This isn't about getting even. It's about making sure that this can never happen again. Well, think about that for a second, guys. He's calling for a complete purge of what he sees as corruption in the justice system. How are the Democrats going to argue with that? How are they going to go to their constituents, many of whom just turned on them on November 5th and said, we don't believe your lying asses anymore. How are they going to go to them and say, oh, what this Trump administration is doing is just awful. He's weaponizing the DOJ. No, he's using the laws as they were intended to be used. They're going to right the wrongs. And, and look, guys, these communists brought it on themselves. Yeah, they're communists. A communist is a Marxist who takes action. OK, and that's what they are. And what Trump wants to do is to make sure that this never happens again. The only way that you can stop people like this is when you make it hurt, when the punishment hurts them. So let's pause for a moment. Can we just appreciate the way Bannon delivered this? Calling Jack Smith a wise guy as if he were in a mob movie. That's vintage Bannon. Turning up the drama dial to 11. You Spinal Tap guys will get that. Here's the thing. Bannon didn't stop there. He accused these prosecutors of bankrupting innocent people, which they did. And now he says it's their turn. His words, what's good for the goose is even better for the gander. Translation, payback is coming. So let's be clear. Bannon says it's not about vengeance. It's about restoring balance. We're going to wring this out of the system. He said, this can never be allowed to happen again. It's a rallying cry for his base and a warning to the enemies. So what does this all mean? Are we looking at the start of a seismic shift in how justice is served in America? Or is this just another chapter in a never ending battle between Trump and his critics? We'll let you decide. All right. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. If you want to be kept up to date with the latest twists and turns of this saga, I'll see you in the next one. Spread the word. Little by little, piece by piece, I take back what's been stolen from me. Little by little, piece by piece, until I'm complete.